Good day everyone, I'm in Glen Tilt Car Park which is just outside Blair Athol. I'm going to be attempting to do the Munro Ben Dirig. This is a circular route which is roughly 18 miles long. So I'm going to break it down into two stages. Uh, the first part will take me up to roughly where the Munro is and I'll either do a wild camp or I'll stay in a boffy which is there. So I think I'll just go and make a start on it and I'll catch you up a little bit later along the trail. So we're not long out of Glen Tilt Car Park and um, before on this uh, good wee track here going through the, the forest section now, I was up here a couple of weeks ago and the weather was, yeah, it wasn't the best strong winds, quite heavy rain so my intention at that point in time was to do uh, the Benigal Mountain Range and revisit uh, the Munro's there uh, but that was certainly uh, a little bit on the dangerous side to be doing it with that sort of wind conditions so that got kind of knocked on its head so we'll uh, carry on this trail a little bit longer and it won't be uh, much further before it starts opening up so we just passed uh, the gates there which leads you into Glen Bandy um, when you come up to the gates uh, don't be deterred there's actually a wee side gate uh, which you can see when you come up the path you come through that way no problem at all so I've been given some thought uh, this year to make a start on Scottish National Trail. Now since that will take at least five weeks if not more to do, I will yet again break this down into smaller stages, probably three stages. So this is kind of at the early stages of me looking into planning it. arrived at this kind of stone behind me and uh, I'm kind of wondering uh, whether it's actually a memorial or something like that or whether it's just simply some way marker um, if you know by all means leave a comment down below I'll be very interested to find out So I've just entered uh, this boffy here, it's run by the Mountain Boffy Association. Uh, it's a nice little boffy. I how we pan round, you know how you look. You know you're in a classy establishment when they actually put a mirror in. So I think I'm going to break my tradition of not staying in boffies and I'm going to give this one a go. Simply because it's out of the way, it's well kept, nice and clean. And I don't see a reason to why not. And likewise, the ground outside is a rather wet. Good morning, everyone. We're off to a, a grand start today. Uh, I'm going being a bit blowy. The rain seems to be holding off. And the sun is out, so that's what off to a great start. So we're just going to make our way up the ravine to uh, the base of Ben Derrick. And we'll take things from there. Catch up there a little bit. 
So I've just come up from the Bothy and I've had to come up the, the river a little bit because it's far too uh, in spate to uh, cross over. So this little section here is about as good as it's going to get. Uh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to film myself crossing it again, so I just have to believe that somehow I managed to get across. to the wild places I like to think that you've got some respect for the wild and you do something like that it's kind of kind of a bit disappointing anyway on a more cheerier note it is a little bit warmer at the moment and the wind has died off a bit so upwards and onwards Climb coming up, and finally, I'm on a sort of more level patch. And from here onwards, it's mainly going to be sort of going downhill, which I can be quite thankful for. I had thought about doing recording while coming up the hill, 
I don't know what they sound like, uh, some old steam engine coming up there. So, we'll give that a miss. So, one of the things uh, I'd like to say is a big thank you to all the people who viewed my last video when I was doing the East Island Way. I know it wasn't uh, as far from perfect, uh, but uh, it was quite appreciated. And I hope to be putting out a lot more content in the future. Uh, I'm not a Munro bagger as such, but I do like to do Munros in between doing trails and things like that. And likewise, there's people out there who do uh, Munros for that, and I can probably do that too. So, we'll move along and track a wee bit. Uh, I'm quite happy, the weather's good, the sun's out, uh, the wind's died down quite a bit, and likewise, just listening to the birds. So, I'm quite happy to just be peacing out at the moment. So I'll catch up with you in a wee bit and I think we'll get this jacket off, there's no need for it to be on at the moment. give a, a little bit of a recap on the trail as I'm coming towards the end of it, the moment I leave this forest section. Uh, for the Munro itself, you know it was very easy to navigate to even with the snow and it provided uh, great views from the top and fair enough today I've had uh, all four seasons and probably one day which makes it a little bit more interesting. Uh, the trail itself, you know I mean a lot of people uh, get so focused on doing the Munro they actually forget about the walk there and the walk back. To me that's always a bonus, you know. Um, this certainly this last section is a very good track. The only thing I would say is there are a lot of stream crossings uh, as they bypass, well crisscross along the, the path. So some of them you can uh, easily sort of, uh, I don't know, get across them without much effort. Others are going to be boulder hopping and there's a couple of them but you might actually get your feet wet so well, that's all part of the fun I guess so I'm going to head off into Blair Apple trying to get myself a, possibly a drink and a bar meal if I can to re-energise before heading down the road now for the next uh, set of videos I plan to do I'm probably going to head up north to Cairngorms uh, there's a few Munro's up there of interest that I looked at doing before so I'll try and get something out possibly in the next couple of weeks or so for that. Until then, I hope you enjoy your own adventures and stay safe.